This lobelia is a low growing ground cover creating a spectacular presentation of this, this outstanding bluish purple color which will border and accentuate the spectacular jumbo sunburst yellow marigolds. Man, I'll tell you, you're going to have the most awesome flower beds at your home. Now, nothing here is high maintenance. Lobelia has rarely any issues pertaining to uh, high maintenance, if you will. Now, snails love some of these low, soft, uh, leafy plants, whether it be the marigold or the lobelia. Now, you can get a snail and snug bait if you begin to see little tiny round holes all over the leaves. They're not going to mess with the flowers. Or use Epsom salt, sprinkle it in around the plants, water it in thoroughly. Do it in the early morning or in the evening before you go to bed because they're coming out at night and in the early morning hours and you're not going to have any problems anymore with snails and slugs tearing up your plants in your home garden. Now I also want to show you some other beds where they have been installed without borders and I want you to see the dramatic impact of why you should take the time and put a border plant in your flower beds. Now here's an awesome representation of the jumbo orange marigold. Now notice they don't have borders on this, but it still looks good. I don't know about you, but I see purple lobelia framing the left and the right side. Maybe next time. You know what? Maybe I could sneak over here and do it at night. They'll never know. Now here's another outstanding choice for your landscape flower beds. These are begonias. Now begonias come in this very soft, hot pink. They also come in a deep fuchsia or blood red. You will also find their leaf colors to either be like this, a burgundy with green, or a very light pale lime green leaf. Very hardy plant makes a wonderful row or foundation plant. Now, this plant doesn't really have a lot of problems, very hardy. Now, you want to fertilize this plant material the same way these begonias, the same way you do your other flowers. Put it right in the hole, set your plant right on it, pack your soil around it, water thoroughly. That's it. Now, there's another thing I'd like to point out. Each and every one of these flower beds that I've shown you do not have mulch. Now, you put mulch in these flower beds, you're going to make them way too wet, crown rot, root rot, you're going to have damping off. That's the way to go. You mulch it, you're going to have problems. 